Welcome to another episode of the Reluctant Adults Podcast. My name is Paul, and I am joined, as always, by the man who is dressed as his role model, his idol, Bill. Hi, everybody. And unfortunately, Paul's got to look at this for the next hour. <laughs> And keep a straight face. You know, we are uh, we're doing we're, we're working the case. We're trying to get to the bottom of the disappearance of Collector's Crush. And, you know, sometimes when you get a case, you just got to throw yourself into it. And clearly yep. you have gone way yes. too far. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to become had to become. Yes. What's her face? We, 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 <laughs> we don't gone, know. We got too far down this rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the, even though this episode will air after Halloween today, tonight is the is is Devil's Night. Is that what it's called? The night before All Halloween? Hallow's Eve. Yes. So yes. we are dressed up in in anticipation of the big day. Um, yes. And you, you get you get to enjoy. Uh, I think you'll be on this side of the screen. You'll get to enjoy this. So you're welcome. Um, the Internet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so obviously the big story this week, other than, uh, Bill crossing over is, uh, the HasLab proton pack. Yeah. So this was teased last week at, at Hasbro, uh, has our, uh, PulseCon. Yep. yep. And, uh, they, they unveiled it on the 27th. If you right. were a premium member, you got a link, which you then could just share with anybody. There was no sort of verification <laughs> right, of yeah. that at all. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so they're going to do a proton pack. No, no, no neutrina wand, although it is compatible with the uh, Spangler. So this is this is the Spangler. It's even branded as the Spangler proton right. pack because they did the Spangler neutrino wand earlier. And yes. uh, so this goes with that. Um, we'll get into all of the different levels, the tiers, stretch goals. But uh, right off the bat, $400. We were thinking five hundred, so this is actually hundred dollars cheaper than we yes. were anticipating, which is great. Uh, right. The target to get this made seven thousand as of Saturday five thousand seven hundred twenty six. It's gonna happen. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Spring twenty twenty three. Yeah, we're of gonna the three get a, labs that are there. It's currently yeah. the one in the lead. So it's blowing everyone else away. Yeah, yeah. clearly, uh, Ghostbuster fans were hard up. For a proton pack. This oh, is something we, we've always wanted. And it, yep. Hasbro is finally making our dreams come true. I bet Mattel is kicking themselves because they had the Ghostbusters license. They made the wand. They didn't make the proton pack. I bet they, no. they do you think they would have they could have got that funded back then? I mean, I think if the Collectors Club, Mandy Collector was a little bit more successful, if they yeah. actually went through with that Ecto-1 and right. got that yeah. crowd funded. I think they probably could have made the case for the proton pack because yeah. even that proton, uh, that neutrino wand that uh, Mattel had produced had compatibility with homemade packs as well as the possible integration of a pack mm -hmm. in the future. But, but I was watching have, some reviews. Have. I was watching some early reviews of that pack and it wasn't really, it was good for the time, but doesn't hold up to the one that we've got now from, you're one. talking about the Maddie Collector or Neutrino Wand? Correct. Yeah. 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 So the yeah, the new one is great. I I sent you a link because Entertainment Earth had a, a damaged box version yes. for yes. like 70 bucks and it usually retails for 120. And right. you got it, and the, the product wasn't damaged. Like you said, the outer box had a little bit of a ding, but yeah, a little cares? bit of damage. Yeah, yeah. The, the, I, the box immediately went out and into the on the deck, and then it got rained on, so it was useless oh. to me anyway. So yeah. It's fine. I I bought it sort of out of FOMO because I was so jazzed when I got the the Hasbro blue one that they put out at yeah. retail. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. So I ordered it. And I'm so glad I did because now they're all sure. sold out. Oh, yeah. You gotta be yeah. thankful for that. Everybody wants one. And I mean, you have a full year before you get the get the proton back to find one. You do. But obviously you people do. want it right now because everybody's yeah. so excited. And I think Entertainment Earth has it up for pre-order again, so there's the yeah. option there. We'll put a link in the description where you can you can pre-order yours, and we'll get a little yeah. kickback from that, so everybody wins. So it's gonna get funded. That it's it's gonna no question about it. 
let's get into the stretch goals. We don't officially know. Let's 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 set the record right. straight. We don't officially know what the stretch goals are going to be, but there was a leaked document, and I I don't actually know where this document originated. So take it with a grain of salt. The stretch goals, other than the first one, kind of unnecessary. Nothing. Yeah, they're like, not great. But they're we not, were they're not crucial to. We were having trouble even thinking of what they could include. Oh, of course, of course. So, outside of the pack itself, I mean, people have their their far flung ideas. Like, oh, we're gonna get a neutrino wand that's from the original series, the original movie. As a stretch goal, yeah. As a stretch goal, I mean, yeah. Maybe they give us a a different handle, rear handle that they could screw on, but they're not doing that. That would be great. I would actually love that because that's that's my my only problem with the with the spangler wand is it has that right that probably movie accurate but still i don't like it's it tape. uh green yeah, tape, tape at the end yeah right and you can't if you take it off there's just a gap it's not like it's it's covering just the normal handle so no. that would be great that's not in the leaked list but who knows if it's accurate what is in the leak list at that first level is and let me see how many you would have to get to reach that does the does the page it's list 9, the different levels okay well, 9, i believe 000. it's nine thousand. So only 2,000 above the 7,000. I don't think there's going to be any problem reaching that. It, no. And that first stretch goal is uh, purportedly a the cable that connects the proton pack to the neutrino wand. Right. Very important. Almost something it's, that should just by default come with it. Because what right. are you going to do if you don't have you that? Imagine, I guess you got to go to Home Depot. Could you imagine that if it didn't come with that and you're like, yeah. oh, it got funded at 8,000 units. All right. Oops. Didn't get it. Oops. <laughs> well, the one of the things that it's probably not going to come with is that Alice frame. And if you right. know anything about the people who build these, the home, the home builders, yes. you know that if you want an accurate pack, you got to have it sitting on that Alice frame, which is the actual backpack portion that has the straps that you wear right 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 so it doesn't it's not going to come with that the straps are built into the proton pack but there are some strategically placed holes down the spine of the proton pack and people are speculating that this is hasbro's way of saying like we couldn't cost it out to give you the alice frame or that that frame is copywritten or whatever it's owned by another company they couldn't license it but if you want to use this, you can you can do it yourself. So if you go on Amazon, 50 bucks, you can order the Alice yeah. uh, frame. And then you were saying you just have to add some foam to the top to make it movie. Correct. Accurate. Yeah. Correct. And we went so, as far. We went as far. So when we were making them, the shoulder straps themselves are actually Vietnam era shoulder straps. Uh huh. So military surplus there as well. It was all a lot of it was all military surplus. Right. Yeah. So stuff you can find. Um, yeah. You don't have to fabricate yourself. You just have to no. track it down. No, I remember when I bought our Al- our Alice frames, they were they were still about fifty dollars and you had to yeah. go to a military surplus uh, store to pick them up. And it mm-hmm. was like, oh, I want an Alice frame. And they're like, well, what are you going to use it for, son? And it's like, <laughs> what? I don't know. I'm going to build a proton pack. Yeah. It's like, Why? <laughs> well, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm going to make you mean you're a not screen to the jungle. <laughs> yeah. What is so like what if what what is the intended purpose of the Alice pack? You put you put a there's like a backpack that goes on. Yeah, it. it's like a backpack. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like more heavy duty. Yeah, it's like a military. You put a, like a military backpack on yeah. there. So if you want, you're still gonna have to pick that up if you want your your pack to be completely screen accurate. Um so the other stretch goals, and again, this is just what we saw online, not necessarily true. Right. Uh, wink, wink. But uh, the next level, their their names, I think, are the names official for the stretch goals. I'm trying to find it on the. They they name yeah. the stretch goals at least on the website. Um, off of like I think categories, almost like dose right. categories. So there's category one, two, three, and four. And then okay. each one had an image of one of Spengler's um, psychic cards. Right. So class one is the first stretch goal, and that's the classic bundle. So that's yes. what we think is going to be the hose that connects the uh, the neutrino wand to the proton back. Class right. two is the afterlife bundle. So right. this in the leaked document, I think it said something about being 
the little Stay Puff guys, like yeah, the, the mini puffs, plasma the, the collection plasma series mini puffs. So they're already producing those, but I think right. they're going to produce them they and they're going to heads. have alternate head, more even even more alternate heads. Yeah, which is fine. I and guess it's also going to come with foam, like marshmallow. Right. So that's foam. cool. I do like that. The little guys. I mean, maybe they are in scale technically because they're a little yeah. in the movie. So right. that's fine. Whatever. Not a big deal. Well, if, you're, if you're displaying the pack and you want to just kind of toss them around strategically yeah. all over it, like they're climbing on it and causing a problem, it looks good. Again, we had trouble thinking of stuff for these stretch goals. Oh, we so did. Clearly oh, yeah. Hasbro <laughs> had trouble too. Uh, <laughs> class three is the Spangler special, and that yes. that reportedly is the, uh, the notebook with... Uh, I don't know if it's all fictional or if it's something from the movie, maybe. Right. We get um, diagrams and information about the pack. That's not really. Yeah. I think that's when it gets the least exciting. And then the fourth yeah. one is the. The stand. The stand. But what are they calling it? It's not the stand. Supernatural it's stand. Oh, so maybe okay. is it like hovering? I don't know. I actually really want the Who stand knows? because I want to be able to display this. And I think a stand sure. would be super helpful, uh, especially if it looks cool. You were saying yeah. that for the Razor Crest, they included a flight stand and you were sort of like, eh, not so great. But for right. this, I know a lot of people use a guitar stand to display theirs. Oh, of um, course. So I hope it's something similar to that. But if they make That'd it look nice. like wavy, wavy ghost plasma the something. Logo. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we won't know until it gets. I think that's 15,000, isn't it? 15,000. So that's yeah. that's basically double the minimum. A lot of these just they, you know, within the last two days, they just skyrocket. So it's not unobtainable that we'll see that. I I'm going to say 99 percent. We hit all the stretch goals. Yeah. And pretty I mean, quickly, I mean, I'm, a, too. I'm, I'm very happy that we've hit. We're going to hit the main goal. Yeah, it's going to get made. We uh, they also had um, the introductory stretch goal. It was like I forget. It was like an honorary stretch goal. For yes, pulse members so, to back it within the first 48 hours. Now, this is very confu confusing. It's yes. very it's very tricky. It's very smart on Hasbro's part, but it's it's very tricky. So if you were a premium member at the time that you back the proton pack, you were eligible. I'll say eligible because it's not a sure thing. You were eligible for class zero, the Hasbro pulse premium pack, which is green translucent slime yeah plastic plastic sculpted slime that you can you can put all over the proton pack like in specific areas so it looks right. like it got slime i love this i love it so much that i became a hasbro pulse <laughs> premium member just so i didn't miss out on this of now course. the caveat is not only do you have to be a member at the time that you place your order you have to be a member at the time when it ships Yes. which is not you until did read that fine print. 2023. So not only do you need a full calendar year for next year, you need the calendar year after that. So Hasbro has right. you locked in for two years, basically. And, and that's, really, hoping, that's hoping that it ships on time. If it doesn't yeah, ship on time and they go, oh, it's 2024 now, more. you better up that membership. More. This better be the $150 worth of slime that I needed in my life. I mean, you know this is going to be selling for like, 200 bucks alone the slime oh yeah yeah because because not everyone this is going to be so there's no way to know how many people are premium pulse members right now so right. of the let's say six thousand that have sold maybe half of those people are premium pulse members maybe people didn't read read the fine print the right. real question is going to be is if people were premium members when they placed it that they let their subscription lapse. Yeah. How much hell are they going to stir up if they yeah. don't get their slime? Exactly. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be real ugly. <laughs> so, but hopefully I remember to uh, renew mine because I really want the stupid you get, slime. You get, you get enough emails. You do get enough emails bothering yeah. you, you know, right and left about renewing sure actually speaking of emails this is a great segue to talk about the megazord nft which is something else that we we saw from pulsecon i still don't 100 percent understand it i know what nfts are but this is sort of like a faux nft because it's yeah. not an actual nft it's something that you were supposed to trade to get the actual product yeah so you buy a coin right 
you buy some digital token and then you had to transfer that. But then there is actually like everybody got a unique photo and unique image, which is, which is the NFT. And people are selling the image for hundreds of dollars. Like some of them, like apparently the Sabertooth Tiger Zord image is going for a lot. Okay. I don't understand it. I didn't buy it, so I don't know. I don't have all the information. But they sent out an email, <laughs> sort of like they, the way they wrote it. They used text speech, so like they they said seriously, but they spelled it S R S L Y, which is sort of like okay, well, this is a two hundred dollar product. Maybe spell out all your words. Right. But they're like, you really gotta you gotta trade this in before this deadline, or you miss out on something. I don't even know. I think you're still going to get your physical product. That would be pretty messed up if you paid $200 and you didn't get the physical product. (laughs) Like, oops, sorry. Didn't read the fine print. You didn't read the fine print. That's a contractual obligation. I mean, come on. They present it with you. (laughs) Listen, seriously. uh, Maybe read your emails next time. Yeah. So I don't really know the whole to do on that, but there are people being very confused out there that spent $200. So I hope it all works out (laughs) for them. (laughs) <laughs> yikes so NECA sent out some <laughs> this is funny so NECA sent out some photos of two two new sets for their turtles and you sent me a message you're like I forget did we pre-order these yet did we yeah I did <laughs> and forget I, and I honestly did not know because we had seen photos of them or saw listings or something we saw I photos just, I just don't remember what we have pre-ordered <laughs> I had to go. I, I really I had to go back and look at my orders yeah I had no idea I, and, I d- yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But but we de- we determined that no, we had not pre-ordered these no. yet. Apparently right. they're going to be available this Tuesday, both of the sets on NECA. Um I hope they have enough because uh you're putting up two two pretty good sets. Uh yeah. the first one is Wingnut and Screw Loose, which look fantastic. Yeah. I love yeah. I love the uh, size difference between the characters. That's always Yeah, they actually they things. actually cuz Screw Loose was originally just a pack-in figure, very small, right. and this one they right. actually made him pretty reasonably sized character he's got he's got the the four arms articulated yep articulated i think the wings are all articulated as yep. well and that was and, always uh, a fun that was always a fun pack that was probably my oh, second yeah. favorite figure next to Muckman. oh yeah that those was great. two i always i always liked like the wingnut character just because he had a pistol he had the uh-huh. wings I don't remember him from the cartoon. Do you remember him appearing on the cartoon? I I don't know. Yeah. A I lot know, of these guys, a lot this, of these, but... a lot of the toys, I think they worked them in later on, but sure. we just, we just enjoyed them for toys. We didn't even exactly. need to see them on the show. Exactly. Uh, the other set is the dirt bag and ground chuck. And we, yes. we just realized now that ground chuck is a reference to the meat you buy at the grocery store because right. <laughs> he, he yeah. is a bull. <laughs> that's the, the kind of meat you get from a cow. So that's that's a fun play on words. <laughs> it is. <laughs> that's another good set. That's another. I remember that that character, the bright red of his, right. his fur. Um, and then the 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 mole character, I remember he had he had like uh, like a tunnel, like a jackhammer. If I'm not mistaken, yes. because he would tunnel, obviously, and it looks like he comes sort of like the um, the little the robots that have like, you can like pop yeah. them off and make it look it like, like, like you can separate his separate his torso and put yeah. it on this this upended piece of earth that he comes packed with. So that's exciting. So it looks like he's popping out of the ground. Yeah, I think that's ground. that's really fun. I like that's that's pretty innovative on their part. Are you going to order these? Or are you going to wait for yeah. them to show up at? No, nah, I'm going to get I mean, I might as well get them. I'm, I'm past okay. the point of being like, because <laughs> like if I see them in stores, I'm buying them. So I might as yeah. well pre-order them. And, Fair you know, enough. we we go through these cycles with NECA where you can't find anything, can't find anything. We're in a current part of the cycle where everything is sort of sticking around. You got Chrome we Dome. Are. You got. um what is Muckman? Muckman. Muckman is probably the worst one right now where he's just he's lingering. I don't know if they he's, ordered extra or people weren't excited about Muckman. He's up there with Baxter and uh, Splinter. See, you you saw out. those forever. Those did. those went pretty quick uh, from me. I saw them maybe once or twice, but yeah. they did not stick around like Muckman has. Oh, so you're still and then st- even Mondo I, Gecko. You got a couple sticking around. Mine are all gone. They're out. Yeah. So, I mean, this is a good pack to get just because even if these do go to store, we're talking about holiday shopping coming right up. 
Mm -hmm. and everyone's going to be in the stores. Shopping season's literally starting on Monday, so... I, I do like that NECA is putting out two sets at once just so that we can save on shipping a little bit. So I'm agreeable to full that. shipping on of one course. set. I always I I always hate that. I always I hate when you have to pay fifteen dollars just for one set. Oh, sure. Yeah. So I will try to remember to pick those up. He, I need to set an alarm. You, I don't know if NECA officially announced when they're going up, but I saw somebody no. say Tuesday. I don't know. They usually do a 12 or one, but I, definitely I believe it's be. 1 p.m. They yeah. usually drop them. So and they've been pretty decent. It hasn't been difficult picking these up. They sell out within an hour. Right. Yeah. So as long as you're there so, within the hour. Yeah. Um, what do we have any updates on the uh, like the newsroom box set when that's coming? Uh, I think they mentioned Q4. So that's now right that's now yeah. i think everything is listed as q4 right everything they don't yeah, want to go q4. to the next year yeah no of course not well you know that's the funny thing it's we talked about are these actually produced for this yeah um were they produced in times for, for san diego which i'm assuming they were and i can back that up all my pulse con stuff is shipped yeah so I that's existed i don't think that anyone do you think they anticipated having Comic-Con this year? I guess they did push it to November and they thought that was going to happen. But then that got scrapped. I think right. that didn't happen, right? No, they canceled no. it. Yeah, there were some conventions. So I'm like, like, oh, that, yeah. there was a New York, New York Comic-Con happened. It did. It did. I pretty I no, think we're probably I think I think we're good. Like, you know, fingers crossed. There's not another spike. Or another variant, right. but I think people have pretty much accepted we're either vaccinated and we're just moving forward, or we're not, and we're going to take our chances. Yeah. yeah, but we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, no, it'll be. Uh, I had to look. Like I said, I had to look to see what my pre-orders were. Now I did miss out on the Mutagen Man pack, and who was he packed with? Ace Duck. Do you Ace Duck. I did miss out on that pack, oh, so I'm hoping no. that does go. To, I know. I, I just I dropped the ball. I almost dropped the ball today on that pulse rifle. I realized that it was oh the nerf the one thirtieth. Yeah, I realized it was the thirtieth, and that tomorrow's Ooh. the last day to order it. So I was like, yeah. better order dinner and then order my yeah. pulse rifle. You got it. A normal night. Oh yeah, pick that. Yeah, up. I got that too. Just because, why yeah. not? It's not coming out for a year. Why not? By the time it ships, I'll be like, oops, there's a hundred dollars I didn't account for. But (laughs) (laughs) Hasbro just for all your dollars. Got to start picking those dollars out of the couch. Uh, There we go. How's your how's your vision with that eye patch? (laughs) You know, it's 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 okay now because I'm stationary, but I was walking around and it's rough. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) We. We're not, and again, we're not making fun. We are. Um, this no, is this a is, homage or homage. It definitely is. It definitely is. This has been. We, the, their we content miss, has we, been on our minds. We ha- we do miss. We them. Their them. content has been on our minds. I think. Yes. Back way back <laughs> in July. Yeah. Yeah. So we still knows? don't know what's going on. We people no. continue to comment on that last video. Right. Well, and, we we uh, posted you posted a video short, and someone was like, "They had to start school." Right. <laughs> I was like, "Okay." Like he had Sorry. some inside info. Yes, like you can't yeah. what, you can't log you know? on. You can't open your your Instagram and make a post with something that says like, "We're alive. We weren't uh, right. abducted hey, by aliens." Yeah, yeah. That's like the easiest thing to do. You don't even have to yeah. put a picture of yourself. Just be like, right. just checking in. What do you think yeah. of this? It'll be interesting if they do ever come back. And if people are like, we don't like you now, you abandon us. That's how I feel. I, I yeah, feel. I know. They've given us abandonment issues. But if you're watching yes. this channel or you're listening to this podcast, just know we're going to do this show until the day we die. Yes. <laughs> it, and whoever <laughs> dies first, they you have permission to find a new co-host and continue Ooh. this until you die. <laughs> well, I hope it's me who goes first because you have to. Yeah. Uh, the technical skills for this. That's right. It probably if if I die first, the show won't. It, you may have to like, <laughs> you might have to get it mailed to you and on a CD ROM. Yeah. Oh yeah. Of course. Of course. And it's gonna be. I'm gonna have to handwrite the mail. Right. You it's won't fine. be able it's not to. Gonna come, 
<laughs> print it out because you have a printer. I don't have a printer. <laughs> Still, don't Still have no a printer. printer. Got to work on that. Got my, <laughs> wife, save you. Got, got my wife her Nutribullet. She wanted that for her birthday. Still haven't sure. gotten my printer. I didn't get your printer yet. Either my birthday or Father's Day. It's... Yeah. Maybe use some of that Salem money and just go get one. Oh, I should. I was there yesterday. It was good. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, so Friday, Friday was the day that people dressed up at work because, you know, you don't work on the weekends normally. Yeah. Um, so I dressed up, I wore my Ghostbuster jumpsuit, which I think you can kind of see in the back there with my spirit yeah. parts on back. And, uh, I work at a university and let me tell you something, if they ever kick you out of town and you can't go to Salem, walk around a college because the, the kids love it, man. I'm telling you what, they everyone I passed was like, cool costume, man. I was like, yeah, thanks. Wow, where's yours? <laughs> I know, nobody nobody was dressed up, but I was telling nobody you. Nobody was dressed up in Salem. It's bizarre now. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, the people used to dress up just to walk around? They did. Now it's not really the thing. Mm, that's weird. But yeah, just go around a university. It's funny that you were a Ghostbuster at a university, like the beginning that's of, the, right. of the film. That's right. Yeah. I should have walked through the library, but it was, you it was too hot to go inside. It was nice and cool outside. Nice. Um, oh, no, that's good. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, was, I was I was thinking about doing I might still I think one of the kids is going to be stay puffed. So I might dig out the nice. old jumpsuit and try to fit into it. And <laughs> worst comes to worst, I got this as a backup and I'd be like, well, right. so what are you? And I'll say, if, if you don't know, then you I don't, don't know, need to tell you. You know, I don't know. I guess you could yeah. write like collector's crush on your shirt or something. Could get it screen shirt. printed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there you shirt. go. Get that logo printed. <laughs> you got it. You got to do the eye makeup. <laughs> or do oh, you have yeah. it? I can't tell the cat I eye don't. or whatever. I should. I should have my yeah. wife do it. If, thankfully, my wife doesn't come downstairs and see me like this because she'll just. What the, it's, does she not? Does she not know your you're cosplaying right now currently no 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 she does not and she doesn't watch the show so it's not gonna she doesn't so there's no, no frame of reference <laughs> oh that's right she might think i'm like pretending to be like a cam girl or something like that yeah <laughs> <laughs> now i want her to come downstairs <laughs> i'm gonna send her a message right now no don't you dare bill bill need you immediately come downstairs Go see what your husband is doing <laughs> With your 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 daughter's uh, Rapunzel braid, yes. And... Yeah, I think I I think this was my mother's eye patch, and I think this was okay. my daughter's Rapunzel hair and my wife's shirt. So, you know, we were saying that they should really jump on the uh, merchandising merchandising back bandwagon and do they some, should some eye patches with their logo or something. Yeah, no, it's maybe too late we for them. can I give up. Maybe we can do that. Can we just print it? Can we? Is there like a cafe press site where they have eye patches? Eye patches. I'm sure there print are. Print to order. <laughs> I'm gonna work on that this week and put the put our put our logo on an eye patch and see if people buy it. There we go. <laughs> we we are usurping the collector's crush brand. They, <laughs> yeah. I bet they don't even we, have it copyrighted. We, we bought it, we, trademarked. <laughs> all maybe of a we're sudden, just, we're just gonna we start changing all our media to it. The six months that they were absent, we've grown their own brand and taken yeah. it from them. Do you yeah. imagine? That'd and by awesome. the time, it's like em- imminent domain. We're like, by the time yes. they come back, we'll have had it longer. So we yes. we own it by default. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You, you shouldn't have gone to school. Sunk this into the ground. First of all, I don't believe that they're going to school. No. I don't believe it. Like, what's no. kind of school? College? No way. In right. Miami? I mean, Get out of here. Yeah. And give me a break. You know, when you and I were in school and college... We could juggle stuff. We balanced everything. <laughs> Kids these days can't balance a thing. Kids today, let me tell Kids you. Kids today. <laughs> I got to go to school. I can only work one day a week. Oh, okay. We worked every single day. I worked every weekend. I worked every single day. I worked five days a week to put myself through school. Yeah. 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 Oh, the other thing that NECA showed off this week was the second turtle in their Ninja Turtles Universal Monsters mashup. Yes. Is it, it was... Universal? Is it officially Universal Monsters? Are they calling it that? I think they are. Or yeah. are they just monsters? No, I think it I think it is branded as Universal, but Okay. Let me double check if you want to talk about the second release. Well, no, that's fine. So we got we got Leonardo, this. we got Leonardo as the hunchback and mm-hmm. Looks pretty cool. Um, yep. Hunchback oh, yeah. of Hunchback of Notre Dame. 
yeah. more or less. Not necessarily. So there was a big debate over whether or not this was Leonardo as Igor, Dr. Oh. Frankenstein's assistant. So there was nah. big arguments being placed, and it's, it is not by the hunchback. Enough. Yeah. Um, from its own, from his own, own media. Confirmed. It is. Cool. It is Universal Monsters. Okay. Okay. It looks fine. It looks. Uh, someone was saying that Michael Bay already did this version of Leonardo, which I thought was. Pretty oh funny. sure. <laughs> well, yeah. The sh- the shells on both of these are pretty chunky. If you look at the yeah. from the from the back, he's got a pretty pretty chunky shell to him and what are his accessories i haven't looked that far i'm not that interested in this line i don't think it i don't think i'll be picking it up i gotta see him i think uh if if the target if the target listings are any indication they're gonna be 30 dollars each but they're bigger at least at least the Raphael figure was bigger than the movie they're bigger turtles um i think they only show this one picture of leo and he's got his swords and the and his his sheath He's got his yeah. rope belt. I mean, these are really funny looking. Like, I don't They're know. They're highly that I'll... detailed. It's good. Yeah. It's good to see what they did with um, accessories and kind of building in the turtles world into that classic monster look. Right. I think they're cool. But, I think they're something that if if you miss them now, they're going to be hard to find, or they're going to be, of course, pretty. Valuable. I just don't. I've got I've got four core Universal monsters, and, and they should they should start with those to be honest with you. And they did the Frankenstein. Yeah, but they should have done. And I think, are they doing the mummy? They're doing the well. Mummy. NECA said Randy from NECA said they're doing eight figures. They already have eight figures either planned or ready to go. Are so I don't know. Turtles it, or well, are that's they, the question. That is are, the question. Is it, are, like, is it, is it like two April versions Bride of each of turtles? Is it? I don't know. I don't know if I, I what. OK, what would you prefer? Would you prefer two flavors of each turtle or would you prefer prefer the secondary characters to be monsters as well? I'd prefer the turtles as monsters, to be honest. OK, with you. so just turtles, just turtles. I think that there's more meat on the bones when you're working with the turtles. So I will agree that I would prefer to just to be the turtles as well. I mean, I'm I'm just of that original toy bit uh, playmates line yeah. where they had and they did two runs of them. You know, they had the Wolfman, they had the Mummy, they had yeah. the Creature from the Black Lagoon, they had Dracula, they did Frankenstein, and then I think April did get a Bride of Frankenstein look to her, and I think that's as far as it went. Yeah. But someone was mentioning something about Shredder. They said that he would be a, a good pick for a particular Universal Monsters character. I forget which one it was. I don't know, maybe Dracula, like someone slender? Maybe. I don't know. Exactly. I think it needs to. I think they need to stick with the turtles because they're going to be chunkier figures. The value is going to be better if it's turtles. Yeah. So we've seen two. The interesting thing is Raph went up on sale like on Entertainment Earth and Big Bad Toy Store, but Leo hasn't gone up for sale anywhere. So maybe he okay. is going to be exclusive to Target or Walmart or who knows where these are going to be sold. That part has not been unveiled yet. But uh, has tonight's fright, you know, night of fright, been been revealed so this yet? Is by Saturday, NECA? I think this is the Bella Lugosi Dracula. Okay, was tonight's. So let me take. So a look it was at this. teased. Ooh. It was teased earlier. That looks nice. It does. It's a good portrait. A lot of people are having a lot of fun with the Frankenstein. I think he's found his he's found his core fans with the action figure photography community yeah just based off of his like expressions and what people can do with him i've seen a lot of interesting photos of him is there a black and white version of him yeah so they're running they're running both they're running both but they're the color is very muted so it's i think i saw both of them and i almost couldn't tell which was which oh really so they are running both of these yeah uh, I think it's it's funny the um, who was it was it was we talked about it it was a different company doing Universal Monsters as yeah, well yeah and they're like super articulated unnecessarily right, so right yeah. yeah so I mean if this is what you want to buy into you should buy into these but yeah I don't know I so haven't wh- seen them yet I haven't seen any of them one more night of reveals from yeah. NECA I was really hoping for another series of Puppet Master because I thought those were so great but. 
unless that's their grand finale. I don't know. But it'd be sad if they just did two and they have the license. Yeah, it's they got to find a way. Property to get more that still of has out. a couple more characters. I only saw them once in stores, so they sold yeah. well enough. Of course. And we don't know. We don't know the the sizes of these these runs, these editions. It seems like some yeah. items they can continue to churn out and they just appear. But some things are very elusive and they're here once and then they're gone. There's there seems like there's so much from NECA that sticks around. Yeah. Oh, when is Elf coming out? <laughs> Spring. I have no idea. Okay. I want Elf. I know you don't care, but I was just nah, I, I was care. just scrolling through NECA's Twitter and I'm like, oh, I forgot about Elf. I want him. Remember Elf? He's back. He's back. In 2022. Are Pogs, are Pogs back yet? I feel like. I don't think so. Pogs need to come back. Oh, <laughs> I'd man, collect Pogs, Pogs again. No, like, I don't need a whole. Pogs. They'll, they'll do pogs. Card. They'll be virtual. It's going to be virtual, and they'll be NFT pogs. That's how. You know, that's how they'll work it. The game never worked with a slammer, so if there was a virtual version of the game, that might actually be preferable. Those were banned. I was like the I was the pog guy that did. I just like collecting them. Yeah. And I was like, I don't want to play. I don't want to dent my pogs. Yeah. No, I had them in the little like baseball card pages, but they yeah, were pog yeah, pages. we had pog yeah. pog pages. Yes. I loved them. I had they had like I did McDonald's do Power Ranger ones or there were they Power did. Ranger ones from the movie. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was a big time. That was a big, big convergence of properties that I was interested that was, in. That was definitely that was fifth grade. So that was mm-hmm. 90, my, 95. My favorite. 95. My favorite thing was the Pog Maker. So, oh, was, yes. You know, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a like a paper press and it would make a circle and it had a sticker uh for the like the thickness and you would put a magazine or a photograph in there yes. line it up just right and you'd make your own pog i do and, I mean, that's all a po- maker. that's all a pog was was a picture cut right. into a circle so it was perfect right. such fun i love it i love the pog mascot that like caveman looking dust ball guy oh yes i remember him i love pogs bring pogs back <laughs> were you a uh, boglins kid I just bought some Boglins. Oh, you got the new ones from Walmart? I did. I did pick those up. They were available oh. again. So I got the, the I never had them as a kid. I had oh, the, yeah. what were the, I, I may have had one Boglin, but I had, mm. what were the, what, the cousin Boglins? What were those called? <laughs> the Carrier cousin Boglins? Yeah. I don't, rem- they were like, they're like fish shapes or like. Yeah, we had, they had one that was a yeah. fish, one that was a lobster. lobster. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I had those. Oh, okay. And as we're doing as we're doing the sorting at my parents, my father hasn't come across the Boglins box yet, mm-hmm. but we have found one popped out eyeball. Oh, that's just been in it's just been in a bag of its own that says Boglins eye. OK, <laughs> and we're just like we're waiting to find the box so we can take the Boglins out and reattach the eye. Sure. And those things are probably going to be disgusting because they've oh, been sitting yeah. in the box for decades now at this point. So who the that... hell knows? So I was listening to another podcast, The Adventures in Collecting Guys. Shame all they you. all they do now is interview people. That's all their shows because they oh, really? they're like owned by a company and they must book yeah. guests for them. So they had this guy on that created the Boglins and he's he's bringing them. He's the ones behind bringing them back. Yeah. And they were made out of this this plastic material, this rubber that smelled so bad. The companies now will not work with it because it oh, smells okay. so bad. So the new Boglins are made out of material, which apparently is even more pliable. So it's better for the puppetry. Okay. Um, but the original ones, yeah, they just had that very unique smell. They did. Um, It'd be good if the Rancor was made out of the Boglins. Material. That's what I'm saying, man. You if, know? It, if it had that real life feel, I would, I would pre-order it, it right now. Right now. I'd buy two. Yeah. Because you need to, because it would probably rip. Yeah, really you easy. could. I mean, would you? The trade off would be, of course, that the paint application would suffer. It doesn't need get to. That. Why would it suffer? Why would it you suffer? You think so? You don't think it would? Because it's all paint apps. Like they're just spraying it or whatever. You're just referring it to that real feel skin on like the baby T Rex, which is very different yeah. than the, the skin texture. So if it was the real feel skin texture of the baby T Rex, yeah. You probably wouldn't, but if it was the Boglins type texture, you would lose that because that had a that was very mushy. I don't know. I feel like it's still because when you spray the paint, it doesn't like press in. I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't, but but I don't know. Okay. 
Okay. It's 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 moot because they're not doing it. But I'm just right. Saying. Of course, yeah. This is just all conjecture and so you found situations. you found the Boglins in the collector section at Walmart. I did. Which ones did you find? Because I think there's at least three flavors. Uh, there's like a pumpkin one that's all orange. Yes. There's a skull one. Correct. Those are the two I did order. Okay. And then did there's you... a clown. He's kind of like Captain oh, Spaulding yeah. from Clown. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From uh, House Devil's of a Thousand Re- Corpses. Yeah. And Devil's Rejects. But did you see them in store, or you ordered them I have from the not, website? I have not. The the WalMarts up here do not have a good collectors section presence. Mm-hmm. There are some that are just absolutely amazing, and they have everything. They have those end caps with all the the limited exclusive releases that always get marked down to $5 that you see on Instagram. I don't have any of that. I haven't seen a thing. Okay. I I'm on the Walmart website right now. I'm yeah. confused because there's the, so these new ones are branded as Boglins dark Lords, but okay. then there is, there's some Boglins for the same price on the Walmart site made by try action. And they look similar, but also a little different. So I don't really know. Are there two competing Boglins brands out there right now? No, it should be the same Boglins brand. Okay, maybe it is. Maybe this is just a second. Se- oh, yeah. These look more like the traditional ones. Yeah. That Dark Lord set is like Halloween themed. It is. Which I don't love, but. They glow in the dark. That was enough for me. Oh, they glow in the dark. Oh, yeah. Yes. Did you get them? I haven't gotten them yet. Okay. Because it says, are they in stock? It says three day shipper. They are in stock. They should be in stock. So you just ordered them? Um, a couple of days ago. Okay. So this is very, this is very timely that we brought this up. Yeah. You're going to have to let me know how these are because I, I oh, love, of I love bug. I love puppets growing up. Oh good. yeah. I think but everybody, I mean, why, why bring a property back if, if nobody loved it? I mean, but it's a little, they're a little expensive. Forty $40. It's a collector's. It's a collector's line. It's a I know, but it's also a toy that I want to play with. So it's like fair enough. Gonna get a rough house with it a little bit. <laughs> Doesn't mean that you're not. It's not still not an adult collector's line. No, I get that. I get that. I don't know. Similar uh, to there's not people's like complaints about you know three has labs, but yeah, well, it's a lot. If you collect all those lines, if you are, but then again, if you're an, if you're an adult and you have your own disposable income, then you're fine. <laughs> I mean, all income is disposable because if you got to spend it, you got to spend it. Then you got to make some more somehow. You got you. You're out in the streets trying to make some money. (laughs) I'll be out in the streets tonight. I don't care. (laughs) Are you aware of that? Yeah, I'll turn some tricks. You going to get the same same amount of tips wearing that as you do your uh, your uh, slasher outfit. I might. Yeah, maybe the beard really helps. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It That's yeah. (laughs) I just remember that this is also an audio podcast, so people probably have no idea exactly yeah about. so hey you know what if you want to tune in to see what i look like check Search. us out on youtube yeah youtube the reluctant adult podcast we're on there yeah. hit that smash or smash that subscribe button whoa yeah smash it yeah. hard all the lingo <laughs> yeah so leave fun. a like leave a like if you haven't already rate us share us right. tell a friend tell your mom don't tell my mom don't tell bill's mom or his <laughs> wife this is a secret um so we always talk about how we don't know what mcdonald's is doing for their happy meals until it happens uh yeah they're doing eternals right now because i got I one i i didn't know that was happening i thought the 50th thing was gonna be it yeah you know that, yeah. that just came and went you know Here's hey we box. got we're gonna drop 50 yeah i got the box a minor in the recycling you need to keep it hey. because one of the little apps you have to use the smiley face to, to oh for god's it. sakes I got my my slide. We, the kids both got Happy Meals tonight because we were pressed for time, and they both got the same character. They didn't yeah. get different characters, so they both got Icarus. Which you got to keep the box because that's the only way I'm ever going to know any of these characters' names. <laughs> no. I got no clue. Gilgamesh. I remember I did a sure. claymation video of him, and I remember I remember I did a Rancor inspired comic book. Ooh, about. Was it Gilgamesh or was it Beowulf? It was Beowulf. I take it back. It was Beowulf. Mm-hmm. Never mind. But I did. I did like an early Photoshop slash paint where it was the 
Rancor was the Grundle monster. Uh huh. Grendel, Grendel, and then Grendel, the stormtroopers. Something else. The, <laughs> I don't know. And then the stormtroopers were all the soldiers, and they, sure. that was the yeah. So there you that go. was funny. Yeah. Got a good grade on that. Good job. But um, yeah, I got no, I got no earthly idea what those characters' names are going to be. But there are they ten have of these. These Wonderful. it's in the style. It's in like the the bobblehead, but without any bobble. Right. So so Marvel Marvel, Marvel has now. Marvel has hit its stride with these odd action styled bobbleheads. Yeah. Some light up. Some have an action feature where they yeah. punch. Yeah, so Icarus. They, they do it. He does this. He goes like this. Yes. So double punch. Yeah. Double. It looks like he's you. having a. He looks like he's having a fit. I'm yeah. mad. I go like this. Ah. My son's going around calling him just the man. The man, sure. The man, so, man. It's like, yep. It's these man. all have that that feature where you you place them on your phone, and they have a, a light light tube, and their okay. eyes light up. So they is that what that is at the yeah. bottom? I didn't realize. So you can just you don't have to necessarily put it on a phone. You can just put it on a flashlight, right? You can, but here's the thing: if you use the app, it has like a little story it plays or it interacts. Oh my and god! <laughs> the the square where you place it will be black until it needs the eyes to light up. So it sort of has like a flashing effect. Oh, so it is. You know, there's you get a little bit more play play value out of it if you use the phone and use the app. It's but one of those not apps that's not going to be supported. It's not going to be supported in like two years. Well, it's the Happy Meal app, so I. I, what what my question was, can you go back? Like, can I find Ron's gone wrong stuff on there still? Because you that was Good the question. app you needed that for. So here's the thing. So so do you remember the ATACT, the uh from Rogue One, that at at style yes. walker? So it had yeah. in uh, it had an app attached to it that would make it a remote controlled vehicle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The issue was that in the app itself, it had mentioned that their app was going to have an expiration date. Uh-huh. It will not be usable with no updates and it would potentially be deleted right. at this set point. So it was like, oh, really? But that yeah. was a great thing because you could, you could from your phone, make it walk. You could make it shoot missiles. Yeah. Well, but it's the same as that no more. Spiro BB-8. Right, they stopped right. stopped supporting the app. So They did. I think it still works because I downloaded it after that day and it it worked. But I guess if it yeah. gets, starts getting buggy, it's like, right, we don't support that. Anymore. Oh, well, it's just a very expensive paperweight. Unless you get it on eBay and it's like 10 bucks now. Speaking of Star Wars, Ooh. we both got this this week. This is yes, our yellow did. stormtrooper. This is the Mustard. artillery store stormtrooper from the Mandalorian um, that finally answers the question what these things on the back of their belt, these little canisters are. Yeah. Uh, apparently they are um, order shells. Yeah. There you go. I love I love this mold. I am a sucker yeah. for this stormtrooper mold. Um, I've missed a couple of the releases like that red one from the Mandalorian. But yellow, okay. my favorite color. I never thought I'd see a yellow stormtrooper. It looks pretty good. Yellow is a tricky color when you're putting it on top of another color because it's a little bit translucent. But sure. I think it looks good. It looks like a yellow snow cone. That's what I wanted. You haven't opened it yet. I bought two of them. I do plan oh, to open good. at least one. Very I like figure. I like the Amazon or Hasbro is now packaging it in a its own separate box, a, 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 a form fitting cardboard box. They call that it then goes in the bigger it's a, box. It's called they 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 address this during the uh, the ten twenty seven um, meeting. It's called a Sioc box. Sioc S I O C. Okay. Stands for ships in original container. Hey, okay. <laughs> sort of like those mailaways you would get that came in the white exactly, shipper. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, you got to so do, do it that. Amazon. They do that to preserve. Exactly. It's, 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 it's the way to go. So, I mean, yeah. hey, maybe they should start doing this with the Walmart uh, exclusives. Still a little weird here. Like the top is a little bubbly. I don't know if yours was like that. It's like not flat. But I don't okay. know if that was from the heat or what. But other than that, it looks pretty good. What did I get? I'm going to get up real quick. All right, you get up. Hate, hate to see you leave, but I love to walk you watch away. Thank you. I also got Black Series today. And I got in my Walmart bag the Imperial Crosshairs figure from The Bad Batch. 
There you go. Yes. So uh, very nice. his alternate armor, his Imperial armor, after he defects and goes to work with the Imperials as mm-hmm. one of their specialists and leaves the team. Mm-hmm. I will be opening him soon. <laughs> that sounds like a threat. If I do yeah. not receive one million dollars. <laughs> I will open this toy I bought. Oh, here we go right now. Oh, that is some that is some sound. I opened them. Why just, just, like just drop? So you you clearly don't you don't keep the packaging once you open the toy. No, no. I I have a wall out there where I keep all the boxes because everything is very collector friendly except those Jazzwares AEW figures. You have to cut those open, ruin the sure. plastic. I, I I did it for a very long time back in the mid '90s with the Power of the Force stuff. I would right. slice open the bubble and yep. strategically pull out the inner bubble and, and take tray. the figure out. Yeah. Those things, those those boxes stayed up in the attic for so long. If you leave, if you leave cardboard or anything to like the elements, heat, yeah. moisture, yeah. it warps yeah. it. It it causes yeah. it to structurally go weird. Right. So at this point, it's just like open everything, unless it's a NECA turtle, right, or anything keep, else. Keep those. <laughs> yeah. So that's fine. I uh, speaking of purchases, while you you play with that toy saw this on amazon this is from hasbro's fortnite line um i don't know enough about fortnite but but i do know that these are six inch scale arcade cabinets oh you do love your arcade cabinets there you go so you've got the little joysticks the buttons i do wish the the joysticks moved they have a little bit of give to them but it's not it's not it's not like is it a video game is it is it just no it's nothing intended this is what it is. You open up the back. Oh, it's not even. It's not it's even got, like that. It comes with three weapons, and it's got hooks where you can put the weapons. So it becomes a, an, oh. uh, whatever you call it, artillery cabinet or something. Does it oh, have a name? It's, it's not even a. Uh, it's not even like a piggy bank or anything. No, but this is better. It comes with weapons. Oh, I <laughs> and fig- you could hang up your weapons on the hooks. That should be the title of this. Give that of this episode. This is better. It comes with weapons. This is better. No, <laughs> this episode is going to be named something regarding how you look because that needs to be incredible. addressed immediately. Incredible. incredible. Yeah. Look incredible. Look at that. It's got a little rifle that I can give to Robert, Robert Maldoon because he came with. Oh, the there you gun. go. I don't need to buy that five below set. No, I think these Thank are great. I bought That's two because there's different flavors of them, but I got the same. Okay. Um, is that who you had? Um, you had Happy Hogan playing. Yes, playing that? he was playing that. Nice. See, it's perfect, perfect to the six inch scale. Um, thank you for bringing that up. So I had never saw any of the Marvel Legends, whatever they're calling the movie, Infinity Saga, the Infinity right. Saga figures. Never yeah. saw any of them, and then they all went on clearance, so people were finding yeah. them for seventy. Oh yeah, off. and it's some really decent sets, and yeah, you can't yeah. find them anywhere. Saw Happy Hogan and the 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 gold Iron Man, yeah. whatever they call, and it was on the end cap with like the million Superman rock star, or whatever. Oh sure. So I grabbed it real quick and I went to the price scanner and it was it was like fifteen eighty four or something like that. Good. I was like, yeah. And then I looked at the little power wing there and there was five more sets and I was like, well, might as well while I'm here. <laughs> because I, I love the suited bodies and he has a unique suited body. He's a little thicker. So yeah. I I just have those sitting here and I will either customize those or eventually they will be worth more than $16 and I can sell oh, those and make a profit. But I'm very happy to find those. Good. No, that's excellent. Yeah. Now, if I could only find that Thanos Iron Man set, which I would right. love to have, I'm going to make an Amazon wish list and put it on a link here someone can buy it for me there you go you make one too it'll be pit ball it'll be bill's list and paul's list and we'll see who who gets the most most stuff you're oh. you're probably attracting more more fans right now <laughs> i gotta get on my only fans after after the show's done recording i'm i'm working on the construction fans there you go yeah you got them i got the i got the confused the confused yeah, fans confused. they don't know what's going on right confused. now <laughs> I'll wear I'll wear my blonde Muppets whatnot wig next week. We'll switch off. Yeah. No, I put this together. I literally I was like, I know what I can do. Mm-hmm. 
I know what'll I know make what Paul I can laugh. Do. <laughs> you were successful. I was, yes. I was like, I, I'm going for the shock value. Gonna, yeah. No, <laughs> Paul's going to turn on his camera and oh, he's going to be like, oh my God. I'm very glad I suggested doing costumes because uh, I think this yes. is, this is going to be a I breakout know. episode. The thumbnail alone. <laughs> People are going to be like, well, I got to see what's going on here. I got to check this out. I should I should make sign. I'd have to get my wife in on it and make it like the thumbnail. Like they do it, you know, oh, with the two. I'll just put me yeah. next to you. Hey, let's okay. let's do a we'll do a pose right now like they do. There we are. Something in there. there. Something is useful. Something in there works. <sighs> All right. Well, anything else uh, for this this post Halloween? No. This is our yeah, our third else. third Halloween show, and this one went off yeah. without a hitch. That's right. The first one. I'll always I'll always remember the it was first about 10 one. It's long. Yeah. It was an it excellent really episode. Probably one of the best. <laughs> it really it was. I can't listen to it because it gets spooky. Because I put it in does. like the haunted mansion music, and it like legitimately yes. scares me <laughs> if I'm listening to it when I fall asleep. <laughs> Yeah, but no. Uh, any any plans for for Halloween? We're gonna go. We we scoped out the uh, the good neighborhoods, the ones that have all of the, the inflatables up, so we know that ah, they're nice. participating. Because last year, we walked through these neighborhoods, and like maybe every third house had oh, really? had candy. It was pretty lame. Last year was pretty lame. It's like get out of here. We don't have anything. Well, it was you COVID don't too. Have, you don't even have a tube. Yeah, I know they didn't have the tube. Some people yeah. like had the little extendy thing or like I brought a grabber, one of those grabber oh, extenders. Sure. So I was like playing it extra safe. But uh, no, we're going to go out. We're going to see what we can do. It's a school night, obviously, Sunday night. But, right. um, you know, it was it poured today. So this is Saturday. It rained all day long. It's supposed yeah. to clear up for tomorrow. So we'll see. One we'll one see. kid's excited. The other one doesn't. Will doesn't like costuming right now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, nice certainly little. doesn't take after me. Um, not yet yeah not yet not yet at least yeah but we'll get there we'll get there sure we got you got some time we got uh oh they they um coming out november new tiger king did you see that oh my god season two season two what can they what can they possibly do i i, I guess think, i don't think it's gonna be as shocking i think it's no i mean how could it be yeah unless unless they're like i did it i, I killed all those tigers I'm like we know <laughs> We don't care. Know, is that is that yeah. why you're in jail? I don't even remember. <laughs> I I do think it's appropriate that the pandemic sort of started with Tiger King, and now if we're gonna sort we're of gonna book end gonna, book we're gonna bookend it, we're gonna bookend it, even though it's not technically over. I think everybody's sort right. of like whatever. Now they got the the uh, vaccine for kids five to eleven, so that's that's gonna be good. So yeah, so that'll be the end, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I uh, I rescheduled my booster shot in order to go down to Salem the other day. I was oh like, God. now they're going to run <laughs> out like, rather make money than get boosted. <laughs> well, so. you're wearing the mask, so you're safe down there. Oh, it's outside. I don't care. I don't wear a mask outside. You don't No, We don't either. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah. We went to an event on Friday and there were just, you know, it was like for kids. So there's like the moon bounces everywhere and it's just oh, like yeah. kids running around. I'm like, well, at least it's outside. <laughs> Should it's be outside. okay. There was one point where it started raining like real hard, just out of nowhere. And everybody yeah. ran towards the stage like it was the like the end of the world. Like the <laughs> ground was collapsing and oh, everyone really? was scampering up on this, the like raised stage. And this lady was trying to lift her, 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 uh, um, stroller with her baby and she couldn't do it and I was like do you want me oh to help God. you ma'am and she's like yes I like lift the stroller save up my child she was seriously like you saved my life and I was like it's just rain I think we're gonna be okay yeah it's just it's just it's just rain <laughs> people people get weird <laughs> people get weird they do oh we're, we're pretty weird right now um all right. Well, anything else before we wrap, wrap oh, up? So another gr- another great episode. Another, another great, great episode. Show. We really this video thing is really working out for us. Um, yeah. All right, everybody. Well, you know what we say. We don't want to grow up, but we already did. Have a great week, everybody. Bye, everyone. <laughs> I like to let go for a second because that's I didn't know how to end the show. So I was seeing if there's anything like oh. naturally happening, but it doesn't seem like this week. So I'll hit stop.